So in this video, uh, I'm going to take you on a journey, a small journey from where we were before making this container and on the process of making the container, what our thoughts were. And I'm going to show you what is up with all this we are doing inside this container. We have some different types of growing systems. We have the aeroponic system in the back here. So basically, I'm going to show you and tell you a little about what this container is and what our thoughts are on it. The last thing I want to tell you before starting the video is that in the end of the video, I'm going to give you some tips if you are going to run an aeroponic system like this, either at home or commercially. So keep watching and then we'll give you some knowledge and some tips about how to operate it the best way. We are going to fit it with an aeroponic system. So basically these two containers are growing oyster mushrooms. They are getting all the air supplemented from the inside microgreen production. So basically that means that we can take the air from the production, put it in the containers and then keep the containers heated all year round. And that means that we don't have to use any energy on heating anything out here because it heats itself up. So instead of throwing all the really nice, humid, hot air out, we are putting it into containers and using that to grow some food in a sustainable way. So this container here, this is the newest container. We got this last week. In this container, we're gonna fit the aeroponic system that you probably saw in, in some of the other videos. So we took some video of the process of taking the aeroponic system apart. Uh, almost all the parts are laying here and all the irrigation is in the back. The metal work is going to be set up soon. So in the video today, we're going to showcase the journey from going from taking the system apart and putting it back up inside this room. As you saw in the last video, we are going to make the NFT system over here fit with salad heads. So we're going to do testing of salad heads in that system. The Danish trolley we have is going to do all the propagation for the aeroponic system. And uh, yeah, basically it's going to be the mecca of testing ground for salads, herbs, and different kinds of plants that we want to grow inside this container. So the model here is going to be able to produce food and produce herbs all year round. We are going to show you the whole journey going from all the testing of all the plants. So you can also see what we are learning. And in that sense, you're going to learn something as well at home. So basically, we are just going to set things up. So while we're waiting for the setup in the other container, I'm going to show you the setup we have here with oyster mushrooms. So this is uh, the oyster container. We are getting some first flushes here. They are still growing and they're still getting bigger. This is some of the second flush that we are doing on the bags. So we're doing two flushes. That means we're harvesting two times. All the bags in this side is the second flush. So as you can see here, we're getting some nice big mushrooms on the second flush. The first flush usually gives us a nice cluster, but the second flush gives us these really big, nice mushrooms with a lot of meat on it. Chefs really like that the more meat we have on the mushrooms, the, the more texture we can bring to the table. And in the end, the guest really likes how the meaty mushrooms taste because we're putting coffee and wheat straw inside the bags that gives uh, a good taste in the mushrooms. We've did a lot of testing on the mushrooms as well. And right now we reached a point where we are getting around 700 grams per harvest on the first harvest. And then we're getting three to 400 grams on the second harvest on the bags. So after the bags have been harvested two times, we are throwing them out and decomposing the rest of the bag. And the local gardeners use it to fertilize their soil and make the soil better. 
So the whole process gets like turned around as much as possible and it's a really circular business model we are doing out here. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we are doing in this container. It's the same in the other container. Right now we did a lot of the harvesting and we put new bags in there so there's not that much to see. We have empty space here. The aeroponic system has been taken down. We put everything out to the container. They are right in the process of building it in the container. And the space here we're going to use for another system, so another setup, doing even more microgreens. So we're going to put a system like this over here. And right now we can have 16 layers more microgreens in this space. That means that basically we almost maxed out the whole room and now the 300 square meters we have been operating on so far cannot grow any more microgreens, sadly. But we are going to find other ways to max out the production. We are going to show you the journey on also building the system in here. So hopefully in this video we can also show you how we are putting the system up. It's really basic, it's simple. We don't use that much technology. We're using the lights. We are using very basic irrigation with watering by hand. And in that sense, we can put up a system with very low cost and just keep it operating. And that's going to expand the production facility even more. So hopefully within a few days, we've maxed out this whole production. And then we are going to just keep expanding. So now the container is finished. We have some different growing systems that you saw in the beginning of the video. We have the small aeroponic system here. This aeroponic system is gonna be the test system. We're gonna do some testing. I think in the first test we're gonna do is some salads, so some salad heads. We have some different lighting. We have our own lighting here, and then we have some cheap Chinese LED lighting. We are gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison about what the wattage use and the, the output of the plants will be. So in the later videos, you're going to see much more of this. If this is something that is interesting to you, subscribe to the channel because then you will always get updated to frequent videos about the testing we're doing with the aeroponic system. So the system we have here is basically just a Danish tray with the lighting that we're using. And then we are growing the basil and the parsley here in plugs. They are growing here between three and four weeks, depending on the weather. So if it's hot, it only needs three weeks of propagation. And if the weather is a bit more cold and mild, then we need four weeks. So the, the system starts here. And then after the three to four weeks, we put out the plants in the bigger system here. So this system here is producing around $30,000. So we, on this system here, we are having a revenue of $30,000. And the other systems we are going to do testing with. So that's not going to be as profitable, but we are still going to see what we can produce on it. This is a basic NFT system that we also made in a Danish trolley. So we're going to do basically salad heads and we're going to do probably also edible flowers in this system. So we figured that edible flowers works really well with uh, NFT, which is called nutrient film technique. It's a technique where you drip water down from the top and then it drips down into a drain and then back into the irrigation tank. So in this way, you always have a constant flow of water and the, when the water comes down it will be filled with oxygen as well. I don't know if we're going to put an air stone in the bottom of the tank, probably we will. I think we're also going to spray the tank black or green or something because we don't want the water to be in contact with light because if the water comes in contact with light then basically you have a lot of algae growing very fast and we want to maintain a very low amount of algae growth because that's gonna 
basically ruin the system because the algae is going to take up all the nutrients instead of the plants we're going to grow in the system. So the NFT system, we have the Danish trolley, a very basic Danish trolley. We are going to use ebb and flow. So basically we're going to water the bottom of the tray and then let it flow back out into the tank as well. And the last testing system here we have for aeroponics. It's a very small system, but it's a system where we can test the different varieties of salads, herbs, edible flowers, you name it, in, in that way. So this is going to be the small mecca of testing for herbs, salads, flowers, and we will see if we can find something else to test as well. I will show you as well the how we're doing it with growing the aeroponics. Basically, we're taking the plugs and then we're just putting them down into the bigger system because in this way we are limiting the amount of capacity we need for propagation. And then when we go to the larger stage of the plant, we are putting it into the trays we have here that is ready made for these kinds of operation in the aeroponic system. For I'm going to give you a little tip about running an aeroponic system because the aeroponic system we are using you need to make completely sure that you have the right nutrient balance and the pH balance and that the system is not able to go into periods of no water or no uh, like electricity because if the slightest changes happen in an aeroponic system, then the plants will die very fast. So we had problems with the water and the irrigation tank being completely empty and overnight all the plants were almost dead. So it happens very fast. Your growth is much faster in an aeroponic system, but uh, the, like the room for error is very small. So you need to make sure that your system is set up in a way that no amount of damage can happen to your plants. So if you have a sensor in the, in the irrigation tank and a sensor if the electricity go goes out, then you have some room to maneuver if anything happens. So basically this is the, the indoor farming mecca that we have created and we've created it in a 40 foot shipping container. I hope that you are gonna enjoy the content we are gonna produce from here because we are gonna test a lot of different things and we are gonna create a lot of value for you. Yeah, so the last thing I wanna show you in the video is that we fitted all the plants in the system and they are ready to stay here for three weeks until they reach maturity and we are ready to deliver them. If you are attending Green Tech in Amsterdam the 13th to 16th of June, then we will be there with a stand on uh, a booth. We will make a vertical strawberry system that we can show how to make a strawberry production and it will all be fitted within our booth. It's gonna be really nice. We are gonna stay there and then we're just gonna have a lot of conversations about vertical farming, about indoor agriculture. And uh, yeah, basically it's a chance to meet us and we can meet each other and, and discuss some things, possible future cooperation. The system here to just go over a few economic facts about it. The system we have here with the container and everything fitted inside with only this system cost us $30,000. The system will generate $30,000 in revenue annually and the return of investment will be in three years after deducting the delivery costs and the salary and the operational cost because a system like this doesn't need that much operation. You only need to repot the plants and then the system will be automatically watered and fertilized. The only thing we need to do is to fill up the irrigation tank and make sure that the plants are happy and get what they need. So if you like the video and the content, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome vertical farming indoor agriculture like this.